me Abigail Kristen welcome to my channel so today I was in this mood for some colorful stuff but sultry at the same time and I thought why not do an Arabian makeup tutorial I was researching a lot about how Arabic Arabian people do their makeup and I saw there's a lot of colors that go around I found a couple of interesting ones but I wanted to do something that is not intimidating for people to learn how to do and something that is easy to do at home and like you can just pick up and go and do it on the double you know what I'm saying and so before I start the tutorial just a disclaimer to you guys I do only use cruelty free and vegan makeup for reasons why it lies in the name cruelty free if you're asking me why I mean cruelty free why not and so some of the items that i use in this video might not be cruelty free or we vegan mainly because i'm using makeup that i have had before i started buying these kind of products so i want to get rid of them and use them and just like not throw them out because that would be a waste most of the time i will use my older products because there's a color in there that i have not bought in a cruelty free and vegan version palette and i'm on the search for looking for things like that and i do need time to afford those things but yeah, for the most part, everything in this video is cruelty free and vegan. So without further ado, let's get started with this Arabian tutorial. So guys, I'm gonna be doing my moisturizing of my face. I'm gonna be using the Celestial Moisturizer from Lush. It was pretty damn expensive, so don't use a lot. I'm using a dime size for my face. Although you might want to grab some more because this one's hard to spread around, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be putting that on my face and my neck just to give us an even finish. And then I'm gonna be going with these cat or pig ears. But they are cat ears, guys. It just looks like pig. Don't forget your tea. God, I needed some that day. After some time of filming, I figured I don't need that. That was getting to be a little messy, so I went with the pineapple head. I'm going with my Wet n Wild foundation. I'm going to be applying that on my lids and under my eyes just to give us a nice clean canvas because I don't want any empty spots when I do put my foundation on. I'm going to be blending that with a beauty blender that is a little damp. Now for the eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this Makeup Academy palette. It's by Sephora. You can see that it's a little burnt there because I left my curling iron next to it one time. And oh my god, that's what happened, guys. True story. I'm going to be using this pink shade over here, just in the inner corners of my eyes. Mainly because when I put that hot pink that you guys saw in the beginning of this video, um, it needs to have that base. And I want that nice transition. I'm going to be using an E40 brush and I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild palette. This one is cruelty free and vegan. With this transition shade, I'm also going to be putting that on my crease. Make sure that you don't dab the hell out of your brush into that palette. You build it up and you will get a smooth finish of blending as well. I'm going to be also blending it outside in the outer corners of my eye and in the inner corners as well. And then I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild fixing spray on my flat brush that I used before. And I figured when I used it, the pigment wasn't coming on. I don't know what was happening. So brush as much of the liquid as I could from the brush and I saw that the pigment was showing up a little more when there was no liquid so guys scratch that don't use the liquid I was just trying to be experimental but now I'm trying to pack on the pink with the flat brush um, I feel flat brushes collect more pigment for some reason I'm gonna be spreading that all over my lid and now I'm gonna be putting that in my inner corners and blending it out into that transition shade that I used before uh, because the pink is much of the focus on the eye in this video and i'm going to be spreading that into the outer corners as well so that it looks nice and blended then i'm also going to be going ahead and putting that on the underneath of my eyes and i'm going to be blending it upward into that outer corner as well just to give our eye a stretched elongated look now i'm going back into the sephora palette for that deep purple shade i'm going to be using the same flat brush and then i'm going to be packing that into the outer v of my eye now when i first put that the pigment was like bodacious but later on when i started trying to blend it out there was a little bit of a problem the purple wasn't showing up and when i was blending it it was turning into this dark bruised red color it wasn't pleasing and it's not something that i actually was enjoying the look of and so 
you know, I tried my best. Off camera, I was like packing the shade on. I mean, it probably hit pan for like a five minutes straight. So I was really dipping my brush into the palette and just it wasn't looking right. It wasn't blending right. And I gave up. So I started packing on the pink a little more and I went a little bit over it just to pull the look together as much as I could, guys. I went in into that same Wet n Wild palette and I went into this orangey brown beautiful shade and I'm going to be using that in my crease over the transition shade. Make sure to not like dump your brush fully into the palette just to pick up as much pigment. Go at it slowly and build it up just so that you get a good blend and it's not too harsh in certain areas. I'm gonna go with this Artist Couture. It's meant to be a highlight, but I'm gonna be using that in my inner corner as well. It is cruelty-free and vegan, and I'm gonna be using this E30 Sigma brush. When you put it as a highlight, it's really glittery, but I found out that when you put it in concentrated areas, it doesn't show as much. So I went ham on it. Like, I build it up a lot until it reached the look that you're seeing right now. I'm gonna be going with my e.l.f. eyeliner, well, gel eyeliner, and I'm gonna be putting that on my lid, of course, guys, where else would I put it? Be careful when you dip your brush into it. The brush is not provided, but when you use your own brush, make sure you don't go ham on it because it's so, it's kind of oily, if I could be honest, and if you put your finger in, it will deepen in. It's like a moisturizer kind of texture, but it does glide really well, and that's why I love it. And I'm gonna be tight lining as well to not leave any gaps under my eyes. Are you happy with it, Abby? Are you okay? Mm, it's acceptable. You know, if I could name myself one thing, it would be left nostril maniac girl because this nostril always leaks. Why are you my enemy? Now I'm gonna be going into my lower lid with the same gel eyeliner by e.l.f. And I'm gonna be lining my lower lids as well as creating haha, <laughs> spontaneous second wing, guys. I didn't plan that, but you know. Sometimes, you know, you just feel it and you do it. I like to fly high, if you know what I mean. So in order to do this, just make sure you line it one centimeter away from the guideline on top, which is the eyeliner that you already put before. I also saw that in a lot of pictures, they do a lot of inner corner eyeliner. So I'm going to be doing a point on that because I see a lot of them doing that. So I guess that's the trend. Okay, so I got like eyelashes in my inner corner as well. They're like the faded ones. But when I put like gel eyeliner, it always catches onto it. So it takes away from making the pointy inner corner look pointy if that makes any sense so i'm going to pluck it out and hopefully it doesn't hurt oh it's out <laughs> so now i'm gonna be uh darkening everything making sure everything is seamless the reason why again i like this gel eyeliner is that it's so seamless and it's not hard to like get on your eyes from the brush so make sure when you go with that point that you be really careful and I feel this eyeliner is perfect for that because it glides so easily that it's not going to be tough to make an actual point with it. Now I do feel now that my inner corner is done that I should wing out the wing even more just to create that dramatic kind of look. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to be using now these Coco Lashes and so I'm going to be using the most dramatic one that I thought was in the three that I bought and that's called Goddess. I'm also going to be using this Ardell Clear Adhesive as my lash glue. Make sure you guys don't squeeze too hard because a whole lot will come on your lashes. I'm going to be drying that out, give it some time and my nose is leaking again. Guys, what's so new about that? I've seen a lot of YouTubers use tweezers to put their eyelashes so I was like, why not give it a go? I usually use my fingers, but you know what? For the sake of the video, I will do it. And it seemed to be like a good idea, actually. It's a little bit more accurate when you use your tweezer. These lashes are no joke. They are huge i mean i was going for a dramatic look with the arabian eye but this is like way over the top and then i'm going to be using this essence mascara this one is cruelty free and vegan as well and i'm going to be using that just to attach a little bit of my real eyelashes to the falsies as well <laughs> So while my eyelashes dry, I'm gonna go and uh, do my foundation and then come back to the video and do my eyebrows. So, next! So now that my face is done, we're gonna be doing my eyebrows next. And I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild palette. It's my go-to palette. I use it every day. It's 
wonderful i used to use the dark shade at the bottom before but i'm not going to do that the dark shade was too harsh on me and then i always thought for all the months that i owned this one that I couldn't use that lighter shade because it looked blonde. But when I tried it, I was like, wow. It did a world of difference. My makeup didn't look so harsh. You know, I didn't look like I wanted to cut people on the street. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And so I know also like in the Arabian kind of makeup, they do have harsher eyebrows. I used to do that back in the day, guys, and it didn't look good on me. So that's why I'm not going to be doing that in this video. Even though it is an Arabian, guys, I'm sorry. It just couldn't, just not frame my face right. So if you want to go with that, you can go with that. It's up to you. I'm gonna go back to the Artist Couture uh, highlighting shade. I'm gonna be highlighting my brows with that same E30 Sigma brush and go in with an E40 brush by Sigma on my cheeks. See, you guys can see, it's like so glittery when you put it on your cheeks and I had to go ham on it on my inner corners. I'm gonna be blending that from my cheekbones until the highlights of my brows on top just to give it that seamless finish, you know, when the light hits you and you wanna go glam, ah, oh, yeah. And I think now I am done with the video. So I thought that since this is an Arabic Arabian tutorial that I might as well sing something in Arabic. I remember the songs when I was in Dubai and I really used to like this one song that Nancy Agram used to sing. I was like, why not make this video a little uh, funny and try singing Arabic. Let's go. Eh. something that's all i know from that song but i think it used to be a pepsi song you kind of remember the first part until the beat start dropping with the drums over there you know? don't worry guys the weirdness is gonna decrease right now i'm also aware that some of the trends in the arabian community is to wear lenses so i'm gonna edit how this makeup look would look with lenses and i'm gonna show the picture right now So yeah, it matches brown eyes, it matches gray eyes, lenses of any color. I wish I could wear lenses for this tutorial, but lenses have not been made cruelty free yet or they still test it on animals. So I can't buy it until one day some company comes up and gets it. Maybe it's something I can manifest, but for now, we'll just stick to lenses edits. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you liked this video, but unfortunately when I filmed my outro, my camera cut off, so I'll be just talking right now. I hope you like, subscribe, and thumbs up this video, and comment it down below what more do you want on my channel. Love you so much, and remember, you will always be beautiful.